sure to check out Agile's Geeks for your figures and collectibles. This video and YouTube channel is rated PG-13, so that means this channel is not for anyone under the age of 13. So what is going on, my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil 18 here, and today we're going to be taking a look at an extremely highly anticipated figure, and that is the Mafex Medicom Toys Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse Miles Morales Spider-Man. So let's get into it right away and take a quick look at the box. So as you can see here, we do of course get the basic style box when it comes to a Mafex action figure, and I do dig the style of the box here, so we do get the window right there on the front of the box, on the bottom we do get a cool image of the Miles Morales figure, it says Marvel Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Miles Morales Spider-Man Action Figure Mafex, number 107, and Medicom Toy Chase sells a lot of stuff to say there. Then here is the bottom of the box, we do get the barcode and blah blah blah, so nobody cares about. Then here is the top of the box, the one side with an image of the figure, the other side has another image of the figure, and then the back does show some pretty cool promo images along with a decent amount of accessories that is included with this Miles Morales Spider-Man figure. But anyway, that is the packaging. Let's get this figure up to take a closer look at this awesome looking Miles Morales figure that a lot of people are really excited for. So hopefully it is a dope figure because it does look like it is. And if it isn't, you're going to have a lot of upset figure collectors, Mafex. Alrighty, taking a closer detailed look and Mafex did an absolute awesome job with this Miles Morales Spider-Man. Now, right off the bat, I, I did have a break with my figure, which I'm not happy about at all, because I love this figure, man. This is such an awesome figure. Damn, I'm so upset this broke. And it broke right here at the uh, the left leg or hip joint there. I'm using sticky tack to hold it together so I can go on with this review here. So, really upset about that. The reason why that broke is... These uh, leg joints are super tight, and he comes out of the packaging with his clothing on, and the legs were moving normally, like it, like naturally for a figure, so it didn't seem like anything was breaking. And then uh, after I was done posing him with all the clothes on, I took those off to pose him in his suit, and then I was doing a crouching type pose, and then that's when I noticed this was hanging on by a thread, and I was like, oh man, so when you get yours, just be careful with your figure, make sure his joints aren't super tight, if they are, just run it under some hot water, try to loosen them up a little bit, so you don't uh, run into this very upsetting issue, like what I did. I'm so bummed out about that. Hopefully Ami Ami will send me a replacement. If they don't, I will uh, contact Mafex. And if they don't, then I'm going to have to take that L and just buy another one. And that's how much I like the figure. It broke on me. If I don't get a replacement, I'm going to buy another one because this, this figure is dope, man. For the suit, super skinny figure. So just be cautious with his joints because they're a lot smaller compared to a regular sized Mafex figure. But the head sculpt here looks great. The masked one, I love the, the kind of like a pearl white for the eyes, the red. Nice clean paintwork on that. The silver for the webbing is painted really well on the neck and the head there also. And then the webbing on the torso painted pretty good besides up around the collarbone. A little too much silver going on there. I love the spray painted spider symbol on the chest there nice and centered and i just dig his his spider logo it's it's really unique and dope man i do like the little red on uh the, the suit right here on the shoulders and then on the sides of the chest right there as well that looks pretty cool man and then the back looks dope too we do get the spray painted spider logo again which looks great and the webbing looks good down here and up there as well a little too much going on right there and then a little too much on the back of the head as well so the webbing not perfect but it's still uh it's still decent the arms look fine the webbing seems to be pretty good on the arms where there is webbing elbow joints blend in pretty good as well the legs here and also the part or not just the part with the webbing but all the black pieces well just the entire suit has a nice sculpted texture to it man he's super duper skinny the knee joints, they look good, it's just weird how the leg goes down normally, and then down by the lower leg it kind of curves inward a little bit, you see what I mean? And this does tend to happen a lot with uh, Mafex figures, but uh, the, the webbing on the lower legs look fine, and then the webbing and everything on the feet look uh, pretty good too. I think oh, there's a little too much silver paint on there. Then the bottom 
we just get some red going on there so overall his suit is pretty bland looking which is the character design but uh, I think Mefex did a kick-ass job uh, with the detail on this Miles Morales Spider-Man and and man this is such an awesome figure so uh, great job for the most part with the paint and sculpt detail but anyway let's continue on Moving on to the accessories, Miles Morales is included with a ton of awesome stuff. Like, they really did hook it up with accessories. So what we do get first and foremost, we do get the Mafex stand. So we do have the base, the arm, and the clamp. And we do have the smaller clamp this time around. And these are the ones I do prefer over the larger clamp stand. So we do get that. And then we do get four alternate faces and two interchangeable necks. And starting all the way on the left there, we do get the two masked head sculpts with the masked alternate neck as well. And the head sculpt all the way on the left is the regular one. Then the one next to that one, the eyes are opened a little bit more. My favorite is definitely this head sculpt. Then on the right, we do get the two unmasked head sculpts. So right here, we do have the masked pulled up head sculpt there. And they did a good job with that face sculpt. He does have a little smirk for a facial expression and the eyes both painted looking in the same direction and everything like that. And then finally, all the way on the right, we do get the unmasked head sculpt with the teeth smiling face sculpt. And they, they, they did a great job on all four head sculpts. It looks just like how Miles Morales did in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. And then we do get the uh, interchangeable neck here where you can see part of his actual neck. And the necks and the head sculpts are pretty simple to swap out. I will show you how to do that right now, quickly. All right, so swapping the heads and the necks are pretty simple to do. The neck is more of a pain in the arse to do besides the heads. So the head sculpt here, you just pull up, pops right off the joint, take the other masked head sculpt, just push down, and there it goes, pops right on the joint there. Now, if you want to take the neck off as well, try to grip onto it. Sometimes you can pull it off with the head sculpt. Sometimes it doesn't work. Then take the unmasked neck and head and then just push down and then there you go as simple as that if you want to put the other unmasked head sculpt just pull on the head it'll pop right off take the other unmasked one push down and then there you go pretty simple to swap the necks and the head sculpts there so we do get that stuff and then we also get his mask by itself and then we do get a pair of shorts and then we do get his jacket with the hoodie inside of it which is wired and then we do get some webbing so we do get the mask here whoops and it does have a peg hole on the top because we do have a set of hands that has a peg on the palm so you could peg it onto there so it looks like he's holding on to his mask there and they did a good job with this the paint sculpt seems to be pretty good too much silver paint a little bit over here though as you can see so we do get that and then <laughs> we do get his shorts here and there's no wire in them, which it, you don't need to have wire in these. I just find it weird how there isn't like Velcro or something on there so you can keep the belt attached there. There is Velcro here, so when you put it on, you can Velcro it on. I wish they added a little piece on uh, the belt as well. But the belt seems to stay there, so, so it looks fine. But the, the shorts look pretty good. And for the first time or second time with them heading in the cloth clothing route they did a, a decent job with the shorts here we have fake pockets there and like I said the belt turned out pretty good too so we do have the shorts and then we do have the jacket with the hoodie and it is wired around the hood there it's not wired by the zipper but it is wired on the bottom right there so definitely appreciate that and in the promo images the jacket wasn't really shiny but when you get the when you got the figure the, the jacket looked a bit shiny which I don't know why they did that but I mean it still looks fine the, the stitching looks pretty good on it I like how we got these strings to the hood there an actual zipper but we don't have a zipper tab so you can't zipper it but I mean I, I mean it turned out pretty damn good actually and I like having them displayed with the hoodie and the shorts on with the uh, the, the shoes as well and I'll show you what he looks like with those on shortly because he does come with those on out of the packaging and then we do get some webbing here so we do have the swinging whoops the swinging web and this one turned out fine nice sculpt detail all throughout it not that warped as you can see there so we do get that then we do get the whipping webs and these are really warped man all four of mine are we have the two longer ones and then we do get two shorter ones the longer ones are just I don't know if they did that on purpose 
So this one is warped too. I don't know if that was done purposely or if it's just warped. And then these smaller ones here are a bit warped as well. But the sculpt of them look fine and the way you get them on, we do have the little loop there. You just pop the hand off, slide the loop over the wrist joint, then pop the hand right back on. So we do get all that stuff. And then we do also get some magnetic hands. We do get two sets of mag magnetic feet and then we do get some alternate feet as well. So for his regular superhero costume we do have the magnetic feet for those as you can see right there and I do like that they include these with their Spider-Man characters so we do get the regular Spider-Man suit magnetic feet and then we do get the wall crawling hands that are magnetic as you can see there so we do get those and then for the I guess they're supposed to be like like Jordans or something like that I'm not a big shoe collector but we do get the magnetic ones here so that's definitely pretty cool. And these turned out really nice, the sculpt and paintwork on these. And then we do have the regular ones, and I like having them displayed with these on. Once again, great sculpt and uh, paint detail on these. And these are really simple to swap out. All you do is just pull down to get the foot off, and then just... I slightly put it on an angle, not too much though, as you can see. And it just pops right on there. So there you go, as simple as that. So we do get all that stuff. And then we finally get, not including the magnetic hands, we do get a total of 14 alternate hands. And starting on the top right here, we do get a pair of fists, of course, which do come on the figure out of the packaging. Then we do get some open resting hands. We do get some web gripping hands. Then we do have the hands with the pegs on the palms, so you could have them grip onto his mask. And then we do get some whipping hands, some wall crawling hands, and then we do get some open palm hands. And they did a pretty damn good job on all 14 hands and they are pretty simple to swap out as well and like what daredevil 19 always says that is definitely a good thing because you don't want to risk breaking a wrist joint on your new miles morales figure unlike me which both of my leg joints broke which sucks and neither mafex nor ami ami has responded back to me so i'm probably gonna have to buy a new one thanks mafex but anyway that is all the accessories included with miles morales Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review, shall we? Now, for the height of Miles Morales, to the very top of his head, it looks like he's about five inches and a quarter of an inch tall. And then here he is compared to some other totally awesome Mafex Spider-Man figures. So we do have their Avengers Infinity War Iron Spider Spider-Man, the comic version Spider-Man, the comic version Venom, and the comic version Carnage. And I think they got the scaling dead on with this Miles Morales. He is a young kid, a young teenager. I think he's like 14 or 15 or something like that. So I, I think the scaling is extremely well done with the Miles Morales Spider-Man here. And then here he is compared to some Hasbro Marvel Legends Spider-Man figures. So we do have the Marvel Legends Venom movie. Venom. And then we do have the monster Venom. And then we do have Tombstone and Doc Ock. And once again, I think he scales pretty well with these figures here. He is very short and tiny, but that's how the character looks in Z-Movie. And then here he is compared to the Storm Collectible Sector, the Marvel Legends Retro Series Deadpool, the Mafex Justice League Batman, and the Figma Black Swordsman Guts. And then here he is compared to the SH Fig Yards Awakened Warrior Super Saiyan Goku and the Mezco 112 Deadpool. Anyway, there's some quick comparisons. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review. So now for Miles Morales' articulation. He does have great movement and basic Mafex articulation. So we do get two joints at the neck here. The upper neck joint is on that angled barbell joint, which I, I believe you probably saw already. So with both joints, you can get them to look up pretty good. So good for web slinging poses. Looks down really well, pretty much all the way there pivot at the upper and lower neck so a very nice pivot combining both joints and then both joints do have swivel as well then we do get a torso and a waist joint and with both those joints doesn't really go forward too much wish the upper torso had a little more forward movement the waist isn't too bad it's just the the torso doesn't really go forward too much then going back goes back really well so i'm kind of baffled as to why it doesn't go forward too much but you do see plenty of gappage there the waist 
great pivot and then swivel the torso also a great pivot and swivel so excellent torso and waist movement just going forward mainly for the torso isn't that good now for the arms here we do have that nice shoulder joint you can kind of move it in a circular motion it's more of like a butterfly type joint it does go up and down as well so i do like that point of articulation and then the arms do go out to the sides a bit more than 90 degrees so that's definitely dope they do go up and down we do have true bicep swivel double jointed elbows that pretty much bend in all the way then we do have a ball hinge on the wrist so that does swivel and hinges back and forth now the legs here they do drop down a tiny bit and then miles morales can kick forward about 90 degrees wish they went up a little bit more but 90 degrees is definitely good enough goes to the back just a tiny bit let's see if he can jean-claude man damn it and i can only show with one leg here and he almost can so pretty nice leg movement with uh miles morales here then you do get a decent hip swivel there we do have double jointed knees they bend back all the way so that is awesome then the ankles they do swivel they hinge up really well hinge down really well and i do have another issue here uh, with my ankle joints then if you move the joint there's the issue right there the joint uh, keeps splitting apart on me but uh if you move the joint side to side you can get a beautiful 90 degree bend ankle pivot there so there's another minor qc issue i do have with the figure then you do get a nice toe hinge so overall the articulation basic for mafex and for me that is <laughs> look at his leg just hanging there that is perfectly fine articulation I, I really do love uh mafex's articulation with their figures but uh not happy that they made the hip joints or the leg joints super tight and mine ended up breaking on my left one so that that really disappoint disappoints me and then i also have an issue with the uh the the right ankle joint splitting apart at the ball hinge there which gets a bit irritating and then you also have to be cautious because of how skinny the figure is so the joints are i believe to be much more fragile so just be careful when you articulate this totally awesome miles morales spider-man figure but you're going to be able to get this dude into pretty much any type of miles morales spider-man like poses and i'm about to show you some of those dope poses right about now but anyway, that is my review of the Mefex Metacom toy, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Miles Morales. Hope you enjoyed it. If I had to rate this figure with detail, I'd have to give it an even 8. Articulation, I'd give it an even 9. Accessories would definitely give it a perfect 10. And then the overall quality, I'd have to give it a 6. And if you would like to know the price and where to buy this figure, I did get mine from Ageless Geeks, so you can check at agelessgeeks.com. And when you check out, use code name Daredevil, and you will get yourself a bit of a discount. If you can't find something on their website, I do highly recommend going through their Instagram or their Facebook page. I will put more information in the description below. And if you would like to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell. And if you liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, oh well, I guess you didn't like it. But thanks for watching. I will see you later. Spider-Verse, Spider-Man, action figure, my, my, the basic style box when it comes to him effects. I hate that fridge. I hate it. This is Marvel Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, Spider-Man, action figure, Miles Morales, my favorite Marvel fan. My little, 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 little,